this was the lowest I have been in my life. I have had guns pointed at my head multiple times. I survived the IEDs. Nothing, nothing compares to seeing my two daughters suffering and I can't fix it. My name is Nazar. And I'm Sana. We have three children, Lena, Aza, and Vina. I grew up in northern Iraq in a small town. We resisted the Iraqi regime. We paid a big price for that. Two of my brothers were affected by chemical bomb. They still have scars. I wish nobody can go through those things. We got evacuated by U.S. government. We settled in Colorado Springs. This has became our new home. Sana got pregnant with our first one, and I was overseas, and two, three weeks uh, before the date, I received a phone call, and she was at the emergency room, and they had to do emergency C-section, and uh, Lena was born with constant seizures, and uh, doctors tried all kind of medication for her, and nothing helped. Vina, she had seizure, almost a hundred seizures a day. She was literally arching backwards, back of her head, touching her heel. The hardest time for me was in one night. I called 911 for Vina because she had seizures so bad. We thought Vina's gonna die. I was terrified. It's killing my heart. We went through so many professionals, so many doctors, so many specialists. We were trying to identify what's causing those seizures, what is the diagnosis. And um, no one was able to give us an answer. No one was able to give us a medication that can stop it. And it was not diagnosed. We were desperate. Um, somebody recommended the Children's Hospital Colorado. And Dr. Scott Demarest was our neurologist at that time. For many patients with a rare disease, there is a very long diagnostic journey. It takes years for them to be able to find what is the actual cause of their disease. Dr. Demer suggested that to keep some DNA sample in the lab with them for genetic testing and research studies. And uh, that became very handy five years later. We were overseas. At the middle of the night, miracle was happened. My husband got the phone call from Children's Hospital Colorado. Look at this, Dr. Demers. He calls us, hey, I have good news. The spinal fluid sample that we collected five years earlier, there was a new research study, a new gene was discovered, and both of your daughters tested positive for it. It shows the power of genetic testing. We can discover things that aren't even known yet, and we're gonna know about them in the future. The doctors were able to discover the precise medicine for that specific gene. It was a miracle. Yes. It was a miracle. By knowing what is causing a disease, you can find treatment options that aren't super complicated. In this case, they just needed a vitamin, and we were able to get that from a health food store. Paradoxal phosphate, which is an active form of vitamin B6. You know, the whole screen of EEG, the doctor was looking at seizures as soon as vitamin B6 was administered, the screen became blank. No signs of seizures at all. For Lena and Bina, this meant a significant reduction in their seizures from hundreds a day to almost none. Precision medicine means better outcomes and a higher quality of life. Everything's changed now. We start all different therapy. They love to learn and we are super happy about that. Precision medicine is complicated. It's cutting edge. When you invest in precision medicine, you're investing in the future of all areas of medicine. It's so important to have this institute up and running. So we started this company and we are giving back percentage of the profit to Children's Hospital Colorado to the precision medicine. We want other kids to benefit. There is no better feeling than helping someone who's in need. We are so thankful for Children's Hospital Colorado. Join us and let's help together.